What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a comprehensive review of the Dell G7. This review will be taking place after two weeks of ownership and we're going to be looking at the pros and the cons, the ups and the downs, and the ins and outs and everything in between. So let's dive right in. This slick machine comes in a licorice black finish with blue highlights on the Dell logo on the back and on the trackpad on the inside. This machine also comes in an alpine white with the same blue highlights. The white gets a little dirtier if your hands are a little dirty and the black one shows a little bit more fingerprints but both very nice looking machines. So we're going to take a look on the left side here. As you can see there is your security lock, your power, your ethernet, your USB 3 and your SD card slot. Here we have the right side of the machine. As you can see here we have the HDMI 2, the Thunderbolt port, two USB 3's and the headphone jack. Now which gets into us into our slightly first con. To some it may not be a con but to myself I don't particularly like how the headphone jack and the majority of the USB 3 ports are on the right side. It can interfere with your mouse tracking, but if you're left-handed, this does not really bother you. Another aspect of the machine that I really am fond of is the rear end, which comes with two vent ports, which are accented with the blue, and this nice G7 logo, which in the right light, really hits the eye. As we get a little bit more in depth to the machine, as you can see, I can lift it up no problem with one finger which leads us to our next con as you can see there is a centralized hinge which does cause a little bit of flex here as you can see but not much so it's not too bad as long as you keep your finger while opening centralized as well and as you can see the laptop is very nice and clean and there is that nice blue accented touchpad as we dive into the specifications of this machine, we see that the screen is a comfortable 15.6 inches with an aspect ratio of 1920 by 1080, which I think is more than enough. It's not the 17.3 uh, model that the G5 comes in, but I think this is a very substantial screen, very clear. I wish the brightness was a little bit better, but as you can see, looking straight on, you get still strong color and you can always hook it into uh, an external monitor via the HDMI 2.0 and get that up to 4K and 60 frames per second. Although I do think this machine is overclockable, so you can get that up to a little bit more powerful. This particular machine has a 3.9 gigahertz 8th gen Intel Core i7 8750H processor with 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM with one terabyte uh, hard drive which is enough to handle most of your photos, videos, and apps, and more. But it also comes with a 128 gig solid state drive, which gives you nice quick uh, startup times. And since this is a gaming laptop, you better believe that it comes with this nice, strong, powerful, six gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card, which can handle pretty much any game you throw at it. I'm dealing with right now Fortnite, Counter-Strike, Ring of Elysium, PUBG, all those games. I play a little Overwatch on this, all of which are very strong and powerful. And it just battles right through. I think it's time we take a small look into the speaker quality of this machine, which the speaker quality is, it's pretty good. But again, it is a laptop and it is a relatively small speaker setup. They come out of the ports right here and here. And they're not bad, but they're not good. You're going to want to use still a gaming headset or some kind of headphones when you're listening to your music or playing your games. I just don't think it's a very suitable form of audio. So, but I'll let you make your decision on your own. And so that's about it for the sound quality. So not bad, but not terrific. And if you like that song, it is my good buddy. He likes to make his own music. 
And it would be really awesome if you would support them. I'll put the link in the description and give them a, a follow. In conclusion, my overall thought of this machine is very high. It's fast, quiet, sleek, and clean. And it definitely has surpassed all my expectations. And I feel it is definitely worth the hefty price tag of $1,699 Canadian. Which I got on sale at Best Buy for quite a good price. So if you enjoyed this little look at this laptop, please comment, like, and subscribe to support more content, which hopefully will be a little bit better in quality and quantity. And also, if you're thinking about purchasing this machine, I'll put a referral link in the description. It may not be the exact model, but it will be something close to this, and I would really appreciate if you would purchase through that referral link. Thank you, and have a good night.